video, which you can't do in Japanese form, so that's good. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so Tropics is established from a research space. Basically, we're wanting to want, wanting to explore how you can, uh, I guess, express yourself on your mobile phone. So I think, I mean, as you've probably covered a lot on your site, there's a lot of a movement towards content for sort of sending like more expressive emails or sending, uh, you know, custom sort of backgrounds and wallpapers and all that stuff. So this so is like mobile one, one creation. Approach. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I think like so far like there's a big kind of culture of like ASCII art and emoji and this kind of stuff in Japan, but um, really like when it comes to sort of making your own custom stuff like from the ground up, like you know how do you approach that? So um, we came up with this idea of mapping basically the 12 uh, buttons on the keyboard to the 12 keys on the to the 12 buttons on the <laughs> keypad to the 12 pixels on screen. Um, so yeah, that basically maps out to so the top left and it multiple times and updates to different colors. Ah. Um, so, I mean, just for a quick example, we can kind of paint this out, and then by pressing the middle button, it goes down another level, and you can move around the joystick key like that. Um, right, so you do so it well, hence the name, 12 in, pixels. Yeah, so you incre do incrementally. Pixels at a time. So it's all kind of fractal, so basically like what, basically this size becomes the next size down. Does it go infinitely? It doesn't go infinitely at the moment, it's free. But basically, the reason is that you end up not being able to see what you're actually writing. Because mm. even now, it's kind of like a little bit, you know. Right, but you can zoom into it. Uh, yeah, so we'll we, we, we be exploring that, I guess, okay. from, now, from now on in. Because you could really make like an, an eyeball, yeah, like one little piece definitely. at a time and then zoom so it that, out. That's the thing, I think, like, the thing right. of practice is there, you can go right in. So at the moment, it's restricted to the three. And the, the mm. reason is just to keep it like one to one. So basically, what you see is, is what it's going to look like. Um, so, I mean, just for example, just for like example of what's made with this. Yeah, yeah, these are some examples. So, I mean, you can, you can get, get pretty detailed, like, I mean, what people have been drawing, like a little kind of Mario guy and, uh, and stuff. So, I mean, just, just to quickly kind of show you, like, yeah, without a touch screen, example, you don't really have uh, much of an option. Uh -huh. So, I mean, you can just kind of like draw a little, uh, and you can also draw little lines by holding down one key and then pressing the arrows. Um, yeah, so, I mean, at the, what you can do with this is also, upload it and then you can uh, well you can also like share it between other people and download like see what other people have been drawing. So right now I just is connected to the same thing. So you're gonna be able to see like and remix of people's drawings. Um, and also what's cool is that we've had a service as well with um, making your sort of own you know like Swarovski your own custom jewellery so you can upload your thing and then order your drawing and yeah in order it comes like as a little choose the colours and it comes like as a present in, in the mail. So. so it's for the decoration for the phone itself? Um, yeah, you can make like a sticker for the phone, or you can mm. make, yeah, like a little dog tag or a little keychain or a holder. Mm. And these are like some examples of some emo like emoji mm -hmm. that people have been making. And this is through Sony though, so Sony... Yeah, yeah, this is actually through Lightstyle, which is like a Ginza-based jeweler. Okay. Um, yeah, so they're actually in collaboration with Sony at the moment and doing that, so... Very cool. Yeah. So, yeah, right now it's on... Yeah, Docomo AU and SoftBank for free to download. Yeah, yeah I, I started using it on my SoftBank oh, one cool. a little bit, but it took a little while to get used to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think it does, and I think, like, in, in a way, it's kind of like we're really aiming at the, the times between, like, when you're traveling to Shinjuku or, like, uh, you know, like Shibuya, and, like, you want to, like, just quickly draw something mm -hmm. and send it, and it could be something a bit more expressive. So, um, in, in a way, like, yeah, I guess a lot of, like, interface design is all about making it, things more efficient, but in a way, this is kind of more about, like, how do you kill time? Um, a little, well, from my perspective, it is as well. And I think like, if you can make people really get kind of obsessed with it and they make kind of quite, quite um, kind of really detailed things, it's just people. And I guess it means your communication is a little bit more, um, a little bit more expressive. Uh, yeah. It's all about the downtime, I guess. People, are, especially in Japan, have lots of, like, lots of downtime. And yeah. what, how to make good use of it. I think one of the things we, we researched like, when we were uh, writing a, a paper about this was that what's the average commute time in Japan and like actually you know, if you're going to work it's like 65 minutes like one yeah. way and like if you're going to school it's like 71 or something like that like, really? it's just it's just crazy you know it's like yeah, what, yeah. what do people do with their time um, and like mobile games is a big thing um, but we're really interested in like you know how do people kind of use that time to do things that a little bit kind of go beyond like that how do you, you know, be creative or something like that yeah, you saw the, uh, I think I sent you the link for the Ugoku memo. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. GS, which is yeah. pretty cool.
Yeah, see, I mean, I think like even even stuff like uh, uh, electro and stuff like that, where you play with uh, play with little kind of creatures and then music, and, mm-hmm. and like I think it's all really really relevant. So. Especially with the DS as well, so you can have this kind of time. And like a lot of the games are not strictly games, but more about you know how do you just kind of do do certain things like practicing your memory or whatever. Right, right, right. Or like, you know, it's not really a right. gaming machine. Yeah, I mean, no, it's no. for older people. Yes, yeah, it is. And it's kind of beyond entertainment. As well. mm. yeah. I think yeah, really, really like Nintendo stuff is really cool. Mm. They apply appeal to like a really broad audience. Right. Cool.